Hey, what's up guys? It's Crunchy Cook here and welcome on back to a brand new video and in today's video I'm gonna show you guys everything you need to know about the new execute command and all of its fundamentals. So let's go right into it. Alright, so guys, real quickly I wanna say uh, down in the description I have a download for the world, the command block world. If anyone wants it, they can download it and check it out for themselves. And uh, yeah, so that's just going to be in the description. So uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, let's get right into it, guys. All right. So for the execute command, there are many different sub commands inside of the execute command. And the first one we're going to look at is the as and at command. Now you're going to be using this a lot in terms of like uh, for the basics for the uh, execute command. So if we go in this command right here, the, uh, the as is basically the player and the at is the position of the player so you can go into this book and you can read it if you download the world you can check this out so this the as sub command in the execute command can be used to identify what entity entity you're targeting and the at sub command in the execute command can be used to take the location of an entity and trigger the running command on that entity and the reason why you combine as and at uh, as and the at sub command is because it'll take the entity as a target first and then any command you run will run on the entity's position so for example we're going to press this command right here and it will give me an apple now it will detect everybody in the entire world this can be used for kind of like an id system kind of not it's like it's all right uh but the app is gonna be uh, it's gonna be the position of the player so right here and then we're gonna do slash give at s apple one which is basically where i am and it's good it will give me an apple which it does give me an apple so it's pretty cool and so there's the command so you can use the as an at, uh, sub command for basic for the basics it will like you'll put this at the start of your execute command and anything else after you can put in uh, so yeah, let's get into the next sub command, which is the if command sub command. So the if sub command isn't really that useful in terms like you can use it, but uh, you can really just use the as an at as an if. Like you can use it as an if sub command instead of using the if sub command. If that makes sense. The only sen the only thing I could see this being useful for is the score if. Like you do score uh, if score and then blah 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 whatever afterwards. But uh, let's go into the book and read. So the if sub command uh, in the execute command is to detect certain scenarios such as if an entity has a tag, score, or has an item. But even with having the if sub command, you can easily use the sub command as to detect all of the, of the above. For example, you can do slash as at a has the tag test at as run slash give ap apple and uh, this is the if command this is for the if one uh, so if we do slash execute as at a at, at s if entity at s has the tag food then we'll give that player an apple now i do not currently have the tag uh food so it will not give me uh, any apples but if i run over here and give myself the tag and i click this it will give me the apple because it tested that i had the uh, the tag food if that makes any sense for you guys. So now we're going to go on to the next subcommand, which is unless. Uh, now, by the way, I should mention, this is really just for the basics of execute. Uh, there's a little more advanced stuff that you can learn, but uh, if you're trying to get the grips of the new execute command, then uh, this, this is for you guys. Uh, but basically the unless command, the unless subcommand is a very useful subcommand in the execute command. It can be used in many scenarios such as being used to run a command only when all the entities stop stopping the command to run will run so what that means is say you had an arena full of mobs and you wanted it to, det to detect if there was no more entities in this room and they were all dead because you killed them all you, you murdered them all you like you monster uh, but basically what will happen is it will say unless there are mobs inside this room the command will not run But if there isn't then it will run the command that you want to run So that's what the unless command can be used for and if we go into this command We can do slash execute as at a unless entity at s has the tag food will run slash give at p apple so basically what this means is anybody who doesn't have the tag food will receive an apple 
and you can use this for many scenarios like i've just said you can use it for arenas mobs detecting if any mobs are dead you can do a bunch of stuff with this uh but with that we're gonna go into the next sub command which is the in sub command and so yeah so the su so the sub command in is essentially detecting if you are in a certain dimension so uh so the sub the in the in sub command is to use the detect whether an entity is in a is in the overworld the nether or the end it's a very handy when you can it's very handy when you can when you want only certain commands to run when you're in certain dimensions and this is very handy because you could be like oh uh if someone's in the end this command will only run if you're in the end so this will uh say overworld if i'm in the overworld and you could do stuff for the end the nether and those are the three dimensions anyways the overworld nether and end so uh yeah very handy for certain commands it's it's a uh, it's very it's one of those commands that you just use like uh because it's like that one moment that you need it for and then you'll have it but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy it i'd like would be appreciated and subscribe would mean the world to me and uh yeah guys the download as i said before the download for the command block world will be in the description for anyone who wants it and uh yeah guys i'll catch you in the next video see you I can take you higher, higher than